Sweet Fish Buddies. How you guys doing today? We got here a new My Aquarium box in the mail. Let's get this bad boy opened up here. It's, it's not quite as heavy as the last couple boxes, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. We have a wild Zeus in the area, so he may appear. It looks like they gave a little decal or a sticker of sorts. And we've got our list of ingredients in the box. Let's see, uh, win a DIY fish food mega kit. Uh, complete survey to enter. Have to enter that. Mega box. Still haven't won, so I'll keep uh, trying here. So we got a coupon for Beantown Aquatics. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and check that out. Here's a subscription for Tropical Fish magazine. Uh, you sign up for that. I'm not sure if that's something I would ever sign up for, but it's interesting nonetheless. Um, San Francisco Bay Shrimp advert here. A little process about the way they do their hatching and how to hatch, so I'm guessing there may be some brine shrimp in here. Let's see here, we've got a uh, Mega One, 6th Annual Mega One Photo Contest to enter into that. So first thing here, looks like we've got some sinking wafers for bottom feeders. Uh, I've got quite a few plecos and uh, I think the Hillstream loaches will actually really like that. I'll probably try that with the Hillstream loaches. Here we have an Indian almond leaf. Uh, it says it's for beta, but I know it's good for like shrimp and stuff as well. The tapa leaves, tapa, however you say it. It's just a sample, so it's just one leaf, but I might give that to my shrimp and see how they like it. Let's see here. High performance air accessories from Deep Blue Professional. It looks like a, a back pressure valve. Check valve. I've got lots of check valves, but uh, this one looks different, so I'll definitely give that a try and see if there's a difference. Let's see here. We've got some food. I'm gonna guess it's from Ken's Fish. Oh snap! Ken's sink, uh, Premium Spirulina Max Sinking Sticks. Um, I'm guessing those are probably for like African cichlids and stuff. Um, or other vegetarian fish, so uh, those will probably be really good. I like uh, spirulina foods for like my goldfish and stuff like that as well. Here we've got a Marina brand Airstone, a little cube Airstone. Uh, I don't have too many Airstones, but I've always thought about getting some different ones, but uh, I guess we will be trying these. Uh, so here's this one. Looks like they've sent a second one is a ball shape, uh, so we'll have to try both of those out. As well as we've got here a nice little strand of airline tubing. Can't go wrong with extra airline tubing. Uh, this is kind of the firmer kind, not the silicone. And then here we have fluval cycle. Uh, I actually tried using this in that 20 gallon long and it uh, didn't help at all. Uh, used it for the three days that it says to use for and I actually used it on a fourth day because that's all I could find was one of these that was not about to be expired. I think it may have even been from the same lot. I wish I hadn't thrown the bottle away. I'd check that. Um, didn't help cycle any faster. I've still been doing water changes and everything. So, uh, And that was almost a week ago. And here we've got a 500 gram box of Fluval Biomax. This is one of my preferred medias. Um, 
I've seen some people talking about that they don't like ceramic media at all, that it's not doesn't work, but uh, this is whenever you go shopping for media, there are other brands, and when you get ceramic media, this is one I would prefer to get. This is the only kind I've bought, other than the time I bought some Marineland. I really didn't like those. They're really smooth, and they didn't have a texture to them, really. So I imagine there's not much er uh, area for the uh, bacteria to grow on, as well as it wasn't porous. It doesn't feel porous. It feels slick so that the water doesn't really pass through them. Again, just kind of defeats the purpose. So this I really like. Uh, again, this, um, you know, I'll go ahead and use it since I'm still trying to cycle that tank up and get it done faster. Uh, always love some airline tubing and <clears throat> I don't run many air stones but uh, I may have to go ahead and replace some just to try it out and the fish food spirulina sinking pellets are good uh, again the hillstream loaches will probably love those as well as the plug -in plug -in uh, check valve for all this airline stuff uh, it's always necessary if you don't have your air pump above the water line, uh, your water level at the top of your aquarium. If it's below your aquarium, you need to check valve for the water power shuts off. You got the catapa leaf again. Uh, and the uh, sinking wafers. So, looks like the spirulina kins fish food was $4.99. Uh, the media is $10.99, which is, that's like the Amazon price. If you go to a fish store and buy that, most places I've seen it anywhere from $14.99 to $19.99 at the big box stores. Uh, so that's a really good deal. <clears throat> the bio enhancer, $10. That's about what I paid for the bottle. Uh, the marina accessory here for the airstones. Uh, it says it's ordered air stones, two ninety nine. So I'm, uh, so I'm guessing they included both of them together, so like a dollar fifty each. The airline tubing is four dollars, which sounds about right. Uh, check valve is four fifty, uh, which may be on the high side, but it does look like it's got some actual design in there that may, may be better than the regular ones you get, and they last longer, perform better. We'll have to try it out, and then the. Carob Sea uh, Almond Leaf is $1.99, bringing the total to $39.43 for everything. So it's a pretty good value. Uh, I think I'm pretty pleased with everything I got in here, except for, again, the fluval biocycle stuff. I wasn't pleased with it, but since I got it, I might as well try it and you know, see if another round of it won't help. Uh, now, the one thing I have a concern about with uh, my aquarium box is that they charge you a month ahead of time so I actually got charged for next month's box today before I even got this month's box that's kind of weird with most subscription services that you usually pay either right before they charge you whenever it's mailed or whatnot <clears throat> so I just think it's a little bit odd um, hopefully they work on that in the future I'm not sure if it has to do with you know the way they buy the products or what but Hopefully they can iron that out to where it's not a whole month in advance and whatnot. So, but other than that, I love everything I got. This is definitely a good box. So if you haven't tried my aquarium box, I do recommend it, but do be aware that you get charged a month ahead of time, basically. Uh, not always. Uh, usually I get my box like a day or two before they charge me. But this time I did not, so. All right, guys, well, that's this my aquarium box. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if you guys haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, fish buddies.